You're welcome back to Nationwide, where this evening we're meeting writers. Now, the parents of very young children often fire their young ones' imaginations with stories of animals and magical places. And if you're looking for such stories in an Irish landscape with native flora and fauna and fables, the Johnny McGorry stories might just be what you're looking for. Valerie Waters went to County Kildare to meet a writer who doesn't have to go very far to find inspiration for her imagination. This is the home office in the County Kildare garden of Emma Jane Leeson. It is where Emma Jane writes her self-published children's books known as the Johnny McGorry series. I live here in Balnafa in County Kildare and we're really, really lucky because literally right next door across the hedge is Special Area Conservation Balnafa Lake. Um, so we'd be over there quite a lot and then of course we have this forest here then, so it's our family land. We're really lucky, we're quite in the bubble here. We always have been, but my parents live up the road, my sister's right next door, obviously our, our girls, like the kids and all, they're always been together. So from a COVID point of view and when the pandemic sat, not a whole lot changed for us, but we are incredibly lucky. And I know a lot of people haven't got the same type of story, but, but I think we're kind of used to living in isolation <laughs> out here as it was, you know, and having our little bubble has been great. I've got three kids, so I've got Lily, who's the eldest, and she's just 16, but well, she's just 17. Jeannie, actually, could be, she's just 17 now. And then Evan, my stepson, is 14. And then we have the goose, as we call her, so Layla. Layla's gone seven there now. I am obsessed with the outdoors. <laughs> I would live here if it wasn't so cold. Um, but no, I have a huge passion for Irish wildlife. Um, so, and just biodiversity and nature and everything. So, but always have, um, all of our family do. So mom and dad, I suppose, had a very outdoors-ish upbringing and they like instilled that in us as well. Like, you know, so everything from picking your hazelnuts and your conkers every year to mushrooms, or if not just basically outside and helping any wounded wildlife or whatever it is. So. It is huge, it's such a passion of mine, and that's basically what goes into the books. <laughs> the stories are inspired by the stories Emma Jane heard in her own childhood. Many Irish people have heard the line, I'll tell you a story about Johnny McGorry. Now, Emma Jane Leeson has taken the character Johnny McGorry and put him into her books. The stories are set by lakes, forests, and in the various beauty spots around Ireland. The illustrations are by Kim Shaw, except the Forest Fla Kion book, which was illustrated by Don Conroy. The books are printed in County Mayo. I am through the books reliving my own childhood <laughs> with like my own kids and with my nieces and nephews and my cousins and the whole lot. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Badger greets him with his usual friendly grin. We're having a forest party. Won't you come and join in? Now Johnny loves to party and he loves to sing and dance. He knows he has to be back for lunch, but he can't miss this chance. So deeper into the forest they go with Mr. Badger behind until Johnny's sparkling eyes sees the biggest party you'll ever find. When we paid a visit to Emma Jane, she took us to various places around her family home so that we could get a glimpse of what the stories are like. The camper van in the book of Irish legends is fondly known as Tizzy. Everyone knows that Ireland is full of myths, legends and magic places. A landscape steeped in histories with castles, tombs and famous faces. A holiday on the Emerald Isle is really something like no other. So hurry up, says Lily Mae, packing up Tizzy with her big brother. They get out their map and make a plan to visit every province in Ireland. We'll see Ulster, Connacht, Munster and Leinster, says Johnny. It'll be grand. Now Johnny loves to talk and share up made up stories from his clown. But Daddy warns, no tall tale, son. Instead, we learn about each town. The game of rounders is very popular in Emma Jane Leeson's family, so much so, it has also made it into one of her books. They hear cheering in the distance and it sounds like tons of fun. They're having a game of rounders with batters, bases and the rest. 
Lord Stag is the pitcher, Miss Squirrel on his back. Teamwork at its best. Woof, woof, it's time to go. Mammy's yelling for them. Oh no, says Johnny, I'm going to be in trouble again. Emma Jane Leeson's working background is in human resources. Up to recently, she has worked for companies such as Bordnemona, the Central Bank and Kerry Group. While working in the corporate sector, she wrote her first three books. Now this is what she does full time and has big plans for the future. I approached the local enterprise office then in Kildare, so the Kildare Leo, and they were just fantastic. I suppose there was the initial challenge of saying to them that I'm not a writer, you know, like because I suppose they were kind of like the writers go to the Arts Council. So I suppose it was more like, no, I see this as a business. My bigger plan is an animation series and a global animation series at that, not just, you know, something quite niche and Irish. So, um, yeah, so I approached the local enterprise office and then I have been on so many courses. It's, I've just been incredibly lucky. It has just been such a learning phase over the last few years. It's been incredible, but it's the best jump I ever made. I'm delighted. The big plan for Johnny McGorry has always been and has never changed to be an animation series. So um, so my daughter Lily would have sat at the kitchen table with her unos dos tres speaking Spanish, expecting iguanas to be out in the garden, etc. And I always thought from the outset, why on earth can't kids across the world say a hey, no, a tree and expect a pine marten or a badger or whatever it is outside. So. I got paired up with Ian uh, Hamilton in Elk Studios in Dundalk and we are now working together basically at creating our trailer. So we got our first round of funding from Screen Ireland there in March and now we basically get to go ahead and make the Johnny McGorry trailer series and it's fantastic because we had to design all of our characters and everything again. So, so I suppose in terms of keeping it going, our animation series will be coming probably in another two to three years. I didn't realise how long it takes. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, we're working towards that. But then in the interim, there's still a good, I don't know, 10 or 15 Johnny McGorry stories, you know, like kind of coming as well in terms of our books. Emma Jane Leeson's business partner is Amanda Delaney. She is one of a team of people who keep the Johnny McGorry brand in business. Amanda is, the, as I call her, the queen of organisation. So she keeps the whole show on the road and it absolutely be lost without her there, basically. Just making sure that everything's intact and then telling me to pipe down and keep my ideas <laughs> all a bit normal. <laughs> Johnny McGorry is though, a full family business, basically. So I definitely do not do this on my own. So, uh, so I, I know I've been talking about my parents an awful lot and they have been just a massive support. But my husband, Dave, is a legend, <laughs> basically. So uh, he's pretty shy. He won't come on and talk or anything like that here, but he is the one that does all of the work in the background and it's himself. And then like my, my brother-in-law as well does loads of work around the place and building and my brothers and my sisters as well. Johnny and Lily May love helping out their grandparents every year. Everyone has special jobs to do on the farm that they love so dear. Daddy and Grandad, with their good neighbour Jim, drive the tractors in the field, harvesting the wheat, oats and barley in the combine, gathering up the yield. She's one of uh, four children. We have th three girls and she's the middle girl, as she often pointed out, and we've one son younger than her. But um, she was always the one that was uh, taught outside the box. You know, the others probably would behave a lot better than her growing up. She was always the tomboy of the family growing up, but she's absolutely a darling and there's nothing she wouldn't do for us. And she's, you know, always there checking up on us to make sure we're okay and all that. But uh, she's wonderful and I've no doubt we'll see her name in lights at some stage in the future. And so the story of Johnny McGorry is now being told to this generation of young children in Ireland. Here's hoping the children in faraway places will hear of him too, as Emma Jane Leeson forges ahead with pursuing her dream of a global animation series before too long. Bringing the stories of Johnny McGorry to a whole new generation of young